All right, welcome everybody. Today's video, we're over here at Koh Samet. We're at a little island that's uh, not too far from Rayong and not too far from Pattaya. And it's a small little island, but it's uh, pretty popular. A lot of the Thais come over here to, uh, to spend weekends, get away from Bangkok. It's, uh, I don't know, about two, two and a half hours or so away from Bangkok. And uh, this island here, you can only get over here by passenger ferry. There's no, uh, no cars that you can bring over here onto the island. But you can come over here and you can rent a motorcycle and you can, uh, you can tool around. So anyway, what my plan is for today's video is the first thing is I want to see this view. The, the view here is spectacular. We're at a little viewpoint kind of at the southern part of the island. And we're going to go from here and we're going to go and we're going to see if we can get to a little private beach that I've been reading about. So uh, let's see what we see. So how is this for a view? Now this is the island right here. And then what you see over there is the main part of Thailand. You go over there, that's uh, Rayong and parts north to, towards like Siracha and Pattaya is out on the horizon past what we can see. But this is really nice. This uh, side of the island is the west side. And it really feels kind of like, uh, I don't know, like maybe Northern California, Southern Oregon, if you're along the U.S. coastline. Just kind of the, the rocks. And then it's got kind of the scrubby brush and stuff like that. And then if, on the U.S., if you keep going north, you run into like the coastal pines and stuff like that. But this is just brilliant. It's got all, all these big rocks. And uh, you can see just the blue, the blue water. And you can hear the waves kind of crashing around. So this is definitely a nice part of Thailand. Okay, so we're gonna go from here and we're gonna jump on the motorcycle and we can see what we can uh, get over to. Okay, so here's the road. And it's not bad, they have these uh, speed bumps every little bit. And it just kind of wanders uh, around through the trees. And these, uh, these hill on the southern part of the island are quite steep. They don't have police, so if you're speeding, what they do is they just build these big old huge speed bumps. And that slows everybody down. But people still find a way to speed and crash their cars. Okay, so this is the way over here to the left. This goes to Ao Wai, which is another little beach, and it's accessible by a trail. Okay, so this in here says it's 11%. And then this is a song tao coming along. This is what most people do. They jump in the back of these song taos, and then they can get around the, the island that way. So here it says it's a 20% grade down to the bottom of this hill. Use low gear, it's even written in Chinese. And then we've got a Song Tao coming up. Okay, so down here, this is where it's uh, kind of blocked off. So they got security here that doesn't allow you to stop. And this is what can go down to the beach. But he's uh, flagging you through. And this is the Paradis. And then they have, uh, they have a hotel on both sides of the road. So over here, this is the west side. And they have like a little pier and stuff over there, it looks like. But that goes over, you can see the sunsets from the west side and then you can see the sunrise from the east. So we have to go further south to uh, the next beach south and then we'll try to go over. And it's about two kilometers south of that parody to the next hotel and next little beach. And this road is like seriously steep. But it's pretty cool. Everything's all green and nice all around. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to Ao Pakarang and we're gonna park over here and then we'll go to the beach. Okay, so we're over here at Ao Praknang and it's the beach just to the south of where I want to go. So uh, you have to come over here and then we're going to have to hike up along the coast to go to uh, the beach that I want to see. And this is kind of what it looks like here. 
at Praknam Beach. And this is the Nimurundi Resort. And it's a kind of a small little beach. And the beach is pretty rocky. Let's see what the beach looks like uh, over here. Yeah, they have a little pier. There's not much beach to speak of on this side. Okay, so we're gonna hike along the coastline. There's a little bit of sand and then uh, all those big rocks over there. So the tide's down enough that it should be accessible. So uh, let's go over there and uh, let's get to our final destination. But this is the nice view from right here. This is not too shabby, it's okay. <laughs> so most of it is these big rocks right here. Once we get to over past that little sandy part, so it'll, uh, it'll be kind of rough and then it kind of jogs in inland and then over there. And I'm just wearing my sandals, so it should be, should be pretty good. So as you can see, this is the walkway that I had to come. And I came from over there by where that, uh, like you can see those red canoes and stuff over there by that cape. Okay, so after climbing around about 800 meters or so of rock, it's quite a little bit of a adventure. It wasn't uh, too bad though. Uh, tide's out enough that uh, the rocks weren't too slippery. So the reason I came over here is for this beach right here. So here it is. Ao Kiriu Kara Nook or something like that. And it's a private little beach just down here at the southern part. And there's just a little bit more rock. So let's climb over these rocks and then we'll go on to the beach. Okay, so here is the beach. And it is spectacular. Wow. Just what you expect from a tropical beach. And then this is the Poradi Resort. And they have kind of a, this whole area. They have both sides of the road that goes from north to south on the island. They own both sides of it. And it's kind of like a little bottleneck so they can have security there that doesn't allow the public to come through. So uh, you can't stop there and there's no real way to, to come down to this beach unless you come by boat or come the way I did where you, uh, you hike over the, uh, the rocks along the beach. But you can see they have all the little private cabanas and then they have the sun chairs. They have all the stuff here. This is nice. The sand up here on this beach is just absolutely perfect. It's the super silky soft white sand. Same as most of the beaches on this island, they'll have this nice white sand. And there's like a little tiny bit of coral down towards the waterline, but it's not bad. Now at one point this island, or not this island, this beach, used to be where all the backpackers would come. So it was a popular destination. They would come down and they would stay down in this area. And then this uh, resort bought up all the land and uh, now it's pretty much a private beach. You can still come over here by boat. They can't stop you on the water, but they just don't let you come through the little checkpoint whenever you're uh, coming down by the road. And then you can see there's a couple little rock, rocky islands. There's one little rocky island and then there's another little one over that away. And this is almost the southern point of Koh Samet. It's on the east side of the island. You see this nice tree here, gives some good shade. And then the palms. And then we got the pool up there. And then they probably uh, have somebody that'll take you out on like a little sailboat. This one right here. And then you can rent the canoes or borrow them from the hotel, whatever they're policy is but this is beautiful look at that ocean nice blue water with a silky white sand beach yeah I've been to all the all the beaches on this island except for this one and so I decided to come on over here today to check it out. Now on the, this is on the east side. 
so you'll get some nice sunsets over on this on this beach and if you're staying at this resort you could actually cross the island because it's really narrow down here you could cross the little road where I was saying that they have the security checkpoint and you could go to the west and you could actually see the sunsets over there which would be pretty nice and you can't even see what they've done on the beach because they got like the high hedges over there so I don't even know what they have on the other side of the road for as far as amenities. But this is, this is nice. And there was a family of like five underneath the tree. One guy sitting on a sun chair and then there's one guy over there. So seven people on this island except for me. And it is fantastic. There's a nice breeze coming off the ocean. Just check out the waves. Oh, and there's a second person up there, so eight people. Yeah, this is my little chunk of paradise today. And then the beach ends right here at these rocks. So you have about 150 to 200 meters of beach. That's all you have. But you have nice shade trees. And the little cabanas up there. Yeah, and I have no idea how much rooms go for at this uh, hotel. They do have also a restaurant that they call, I think, The Restaurant. Really creative. So you can come down here and at least eat if you wanted to and without staying in the hotel. If you wanted to come over and check out this beach. And I'll put it on the map in the description so you can kind of see where it is. Now just to the south of here is the uh, sunset and the sunrise viewpoint at the very southern tip of the island. And that's pretty cool. I've been down there before a couple times and I filmed, uh, filmed from there on uh, the all beaches of Cosumet video I did where I went from sunrise to sunset and I ended the video at that sunset point. And I'll, uh, I'll tag that in the uh, description of this. I'll pin a comment down there anyway. And as you can see, one more look around here. Now let's look up at the uh, hotel and see what it looks like. You can see this one here. This would be fantastic. It's got the big bay window right there that you can see the ocean right from it. And then it has its own little deck. And we got these uh, kind of scrubby shade trees right here right where the sea berm is at. Yeah, this little cabana has its own little private pool, little private deck with the uh, sun chairs and the sunshade. Yeah, that would be a tough way to stay a night or two. And how about this? This is the pool from the resort here. Got like the infinity pool then it has like little deck and then you can look right out at the ocean yeah this is nice then you have the sun chairs here and then this is the the restaurant looks like you get a grab a bite to eat in there that'd probably be all right okay so let's uh look a little bit more at the beach and then we'll uh, call it good from here another look at the beach right here this is just beautiful and then everybody's up underneath the shade tree i see where they're all at so they've brought some tables over and they can sit right here under the crook of that tree. You can have lunch in the shade. Yeah, this is very nice. And then you can see here another one. They have a hot tub and a little pool. Yeah, these, uh, these rooms are nice. This is the Pawadi, which is good something. I'm not sure what it means in Thai. Yeah, this is really nice with these shade trees because it is scalding hot today. When you're out here walking on the sand, it's actually quite warm. And then uh, that's the end of the beach and then you have some more of the hotel and stuff up there. All right, guys. So that finishes up our uh, little walk over here to this private beach. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, I can, uh, 
I can see why everybody wants to keep it to themselves, but it's, uh, it's too nice to just be over here and not be able to be looked at. It's a shame that uh, there's not more people over here to enjoy it. But it is what it is. They've, uh, they bought the land so they can uh, control the people that come in and out. So anyway, if you uh, like this video, make sure you click like. And if uh, you're new to my channel, subscribe. It takes just a second to uh, do both, subscribe and like. And then leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you've been to this beach before, if you came back whenever it was uh, where the backpackers always came, you know, tell me that. Uh, if you want to come here, let me know also, or if there's somewhere else you want me to see on Koh Samet or anywhere else around in Thailand. So anyway, guys, uh, from Koh Samet, it's a terrible life when you can walk around on a tropical beach like this. But anyway, somebody's got to do it, right? So anyway, uh, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.